Hi everyone, hope you all are doing good. Thank you for your patience while I was away from social media. So I am back with another reading and we're gonna, as always, see what's coming through. These are general readings, so take the parts that resonate with you and let the rest go, okay? I'm just burning some Palo Santo before we get started with the readings. All right. So I was drawn to this deck. This is uh, the steampunk tarot. And um, yeah, just notice the Ten of Swords here. Anyways, okay, endings and new beginnings, right? So let's get into the messages and what Spirit has to share for the collective. What messages need to come through for the collective? I'm just seeing the winter time as I'm uh, shuffling these cards. It feels like a long, cold winter. <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting that. Okay, start on six cards. Let's get to it, okay? Okay, I've got four, five, one more. Okay, perfect. So just give me a second while I place these cards. And alrighty. So we're starting the reading with judgment. Okay, judgment. And sorry, this looks like, I don't know, this looks like one of those old, uh, I don't know what it's called, you know, those player things. I'm forgetting the word for it, but it's where you put the records and you play the records, okay? I don't know why I'm hearing broken record, <laughs> okay? But we're gonna, um, first let me show you the cards. We have Judgment, we have Nine of Swords, we have the Knight of Swords in the reverse, okay? We have the Nine of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, and the page of pentacles and i can't help but notice there is snow here and even some snow falling as she's opening this okay so let me just tap into this okay What I'm getting uh, from this first row with the judgment card is some of you have learned the lessons, the karmic lessons that you needed to learn and it's like you graduated from it, but there could be people or for, even for some people where there, the lessons are incomplete or something is incomplete and that needs to be completed. Those soul lessons need to be completed, okay? I'm picking on certain individuals who are watching. Spirit wants you to know that things that were meant to create so much of turmoil in your life, okay? You see all these words that are being targeted at her. Things that were, you know, creating this turmoil, this nightmarish, uh, you know, circumstances. The, these could be different individuals. I don't know why I'm also getting that. These could be different individuals, different situations, always targeting you, almost like they felt you, I don't know, I've, I'm getting that. They felt you can handle the pressure or they felt you can handle uh, whatever they're throwing at you, but they, what they were throwing were daggers. And th this is how you were uh, on the inside. She's in her bed. She's not surrounded by people. She's in her bed and she's holding her head. So this was something that, so judgment, nine of swords, this was something that you dealt with individuals who were, you know, playing their records, okay? Um, to keep you like this, to give you this nightmare, the, to give you, to me, this feels more like mental anguish, okay? Mental torture. So. Um, 
not all pain is physical okay some pain yes you can show your scars and see you know show someone that yes i was hit and you can see the scar on my face and something like that but then what's even more painful than a physical scar is an emotional scar and a mental scar right because mental trauma and uh, emotional pain can take years years and years and sometimes a lifetime to even actually completely heal out of it physically yes you may get a scar you may get a mark and eventually you heal from it but emotionally and mental torment can be more painful okay so anyways where i'm what i'm seeing in the first row is this was your situation again this is again that snowy right i just noticed and this is what i was seeing as i was you know shuffling the cards this exact kind of uh scenario where there's snow and it's cold and it feels cold dry and lonely and uh you know th that kind of a feeling but i feel for many of you this is something that you have gone through you have graduated and that is why this judgment is showing up but i also feel that judgment is spirit is showing up spirit is showing up and spirit is making this judgment call i also feel with the record it's like the akashic records where you know our um where everything our life situations our past lives everything is recorded in the akashics like the akashic records are very detailed okay um like you cannot miss it so um you know talking about the akashic records when we pass on the other side right we go through something like uh, a period where we meet our loved ones and we kind of, you know, we're connecting and there's love and there's we reunited with them. But then the guides step in and we have to go through something called, uh, you know, the um, orientation or where we go through something where we see our life in pictures. And what happens is it's very much like a 3D effect where not only do you see your whole life in front Front of you but you see and you feel how you made others feel okay and it's not uh like your guides are not judging you that oh you did this wrong or you did that wrong there's a lot of compassion but you yourself are very much aware in a very heightened sense so i don't know why i went on that rant but i i feel there's something to do with this uh entire thing where people have played their roles and they haven't really taken accountability of the role that they played in your life well you were like this and you know this was like imposed upon you that you know this person whether you're male or female can handle this shit storm basically is what i'm hearing can handle this shit storm and you may have not with the knight of swords in the reverse you may have not spoken about it you may have not shown your emotions you may have not dealt with any of those things you may have not even taken action you may have got used to the pain it's like you know you're being given that shock treatment and shock treatment and shock treatment till the point where your body is like okay i'm kind of immune to it because i'm i'm getting these doses you know right every single time i don't know why i'm getting that but it's that sense where you played your part you played your part but also with broken record i i feel like there's something which you may have broken now this could be you may have broken a curse you may have broken a karmic pattern you may have broken a pattern of staying silent when this was done to you okay not speaking up not telling your truth just just keeping it inside just taking it taking it taking it you you know this may have been a pattern from childhood where you were programmed or this was the conditioning that was like you know you have to just accept shit and that is what or you have to work very hard to earn love to receive love to be accepted and this was made this could have been a programming but anyways you, there is something that you have broken now with the nine of pentacles okay uh, this is like you are finding your own stability and I can't help but notice look at this 
look at this hawk here look at this bird here it's it's so big it's almost half her size so what is this wow i never noticed it like that but yeah i am noticing in this reading you know what i'm getting that this bird is like your guide this bird is like spirit overseeing everything these pentacles to me yes for some this is the you know this is the money or the financial gain or stuff but what i'm really getting from this this is your spiritual merit okay this is what you have earned spiritually all these coins here is what you have earned spiritually there were tests that there were situation and tests that you went through and what happened behind closed doors is what I'm hearing, okay? This is, these are situations that not everyone witnessed. These are situations that happened behind closed doors. Things and situations that not everyone knows. But spirit, you see this big bird? spirit no spirit spirit saw what others did not see spirit heard what others did not hear and you've earned that you earned that space and this big ass bird is kind of protecting you okay really that's what i'm getting with this because this bird is so big anyways and then we have the queen of cups which kind of did not fall in the reverse but also did not fall completely straight so here you are okay you know what I'm getting with this Queen of Cups coming up and this kind of fell on the desk like that? It's almost like, you see how she is, she uh, kind of celebrates her victory or shares her cup of love with everyone. You are now cautious. That's what I'm getting with this Queen of Cups. You are still the Queen of Cups. You're very loving, you're very generous, you're very kind, you're very open-hearted, and that could be one thing, okay? I'm seeing this more than, uh, you know, more than a window. I'm seeing this like a portal. So your heart is like a portal. And when you give love or when you are, your presence itself is big, okay? That's what I'm feeling, your presence. Your love, your presence, the way you give is, you give from your heart, you're truly, uh, you're very loving, you're very giving. But when people take advantage of your love and they're like, oh, she's just, she's just, you know, you, you may have been the one, okay, who always gives love or kind of chases people or, hey, I'm there for you and, you know, I care for you and, they, and, when time and again doors were closed on your face you're like screw you now i'm not now i don't even give a f about it okay and that's when people people really get it you know like it's like they, they feel the coldness they're like what happened to this what happened to this uh you know open portal of love what what just happened and and i don't know why i'm hearing that they think you're selfish that's what I heard. They think you're selfish. When you close off, there, they think you're selfish. But they do not think about this. They do not think about how, how much they put you through. What they put you through. The nightmares that they caused. When you were this open portal. When you were this loving. When you were knocking at the door. When you were telling them you know, how much you love them. And how much they mean to you. They, they didn't give a shit about it. And you know, they put you through this. So when they think, oh, she's so selfish or he's so selfish. They're forgetting this. They're forgetting what, what led to, what led this, uh, you know, Queen of Cups to be like this to be you know to be so cold or to be what they're calling selfish is actually you're now preserving your energy you're just protecting your heart you're protecting your space you're like okay i'm i'm done and i'm not ever gonna put myself in a position like this where where my life is like a nightmare for me when i am so open and giving and loving and it's not appreciated and no thank you and that's it 
So you are finding your peace with the Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. You are kind of, you are filling your own cup. You're like, okay, I filled a lot of cups for others. Now it's my time to fill my own cup, okay? And with the Page of Pentacles and the way this person, you know, this could be a person or individual that it is, I almost feel like someone spying into your life. This person, whoever this individual is, they feel left out in the cold to be honest that's what i'm getting left out in the cold but i feel whoever this is the, because the reading starts with judgment the reading starts with judgment and the nine of swords this is where where it all started this is what was done to you and spirit is because there is a big presence of spirit in this spirit is like no 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 this is not happening. So someone may be watching your life or have a sneak peek. I don't know what that means, but it's like they're sneaking into your life, but they are seeing you like this. I just saw nine of cups at the bottom. They, they see you're fulfilled. They see you have all your cups aligned. But like I said, you earned this. It, it didn't, you know, this, this, is, this is where it all started. So you've been in the dark. You've been abandoned. You've been isolated. You've gone through this mental torment uh, and you know this pain and this pain has led to emotional or spiritual gain <laughs> okay almost sounds like a poetry but yeah so this is this is where it all began and this is where it ends but it ends in a way where spirit is bringing you your justice okay if you have been kind, if you have been loving, if you have been giving, spirit is spirit watch your, you know, whatever you went through. But like I said, these are situations that happen behind closed doors. These were things that, you know, it's like daggers where not everyone may have witnessed. Not everyone may have heard or seen or th this is very hidden. Not everyone knows, but you came out of it. And spirit is like, no, 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 you know, this, this situation is like breaks here. And obviously you've learned through these situations because judgment is also about bringing learning, you see? So we have two cards, three cards. Okay, three cards. We have a blessing for good work, a blessing for good work guys can make this up like i was saying in this card this is what you have earned you have to earn good karma okay people think uh, good karma and all these things are bs but no you have to earn it this little kingfisher is it called a kingfisher this little bird is very uh, a crown you earned your crown okay you are you dealt uh you know situations that were supposed to burn you hurt you torment you you've handled them with grace you've handled them beautifully and in both these cards we see birds there are birds protecting you and this is your guide representing the bird right so you are being protected a blessing for good work this is your good work this is your good work that you did by yourself without any help behind closed doors situations that could have burned you you handled them beautifully okay and your spirit team has its, has the records basically that's what's going on and then we have we have a, a blessing for healing of injury or illness okay if you are not physically uh, doing well this is this card is almost like mother nature is healing you. You may need to spend time in nature or, you know, spend time around trees or something like that. I also feel like because she's wearing a mask, it's like, you know, things, situations that were masked, things and situations that were illusions that you could, it's not um, easy to tell the truth for example let's say okay someone says oh i love you so much and i care for you and i you know you mean the world to me but their actions are something else and you can see that you know what they're saying and what they're showing their actions are not a match 
that is an illusion so you were able to see through the mass you were able to see through through the lies okay and there's a lot of healing coming to you for whatever it is that you have overcome all this good work a blessing for good work yes you are being healed now okay you could be connecting with archangel raphael but you are being healed i'm also getting money is coming to you you are being blessed financially okay there's something positive that you are earning that is coming to you and lastly because these three cards were stuck together okay i thought i was just pulling one but three wanted to come and here it is and three could be your number three 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 uh we have a blessing for a fresh start she has a broom in her hand she's cloaked that means you are protected you are clearing emotional debris anything that is any residue that does not serve you anything that does not serve because that's what the broom does right it clears up energetically physically it's clearing and there is a big raven so a lot of big birds here okay especially we see the raven here very protective very magical right and uh, again she's standing in winter so winter time is significant but what i'm getting is uh, I, I don't know, I, I just heard she's not even feeling cold. Uh, what, what is that song by Frozen, right? The cold never bothered me anyway or something like that. So this is like the cold doesn't bother you anymore. These daggers don't bother you anymore. This doesn't bother because you've been through hell and back. You've earned it. You've earned your stripe. You've earned, you have a protector. You have a familiar who is with you, who is watching you. It's your guide. You are cloaked. You are protected. With the broom, I also feel like you know when to, when to clear what path. What path is for you? What path isn't for you? You're always divinely guided. You know when spirit says, this person is not for you. This situation is not for you. This job is not for you. You are quick to clear that path you're quick to say okay i trust spirit you trust spirit you trust your intuition you go with that and even if that path is lonely even if that path is cold even if that path is a path which is least taken you are not afraid to take that path and spirit commends you for that and spirit is you know this a blessing for your good work so whether it is through healing whether it is through making good connections or money or, you know, your home life or job situation, whatever this is, spirit is blessing you. And there is something you're clearing and a new path is coming. Watch out for ravens, okay? And with that, we're going to end this reading. I see 2244 on my cell. That's, you may be seeing 444, okay? So we're going to close this reading here. Thank you so much, guys. I will see you soon. Bye.